guys uh, met one of our client jc uh, jc the great coach and he has been working with us for how long bro i think 4 5 months or more than that about 5 months exactly yeah and he is doing amazing you know he's been closing good amount of clients and uh, yeah man you know i would really appreciate if you can share your experience so far uh yeah definitely uh, it's been a pleasure to work first of all with you and your team i want to say mm -hmm. uh we met we met you uh, coming across a video on youtube mm -hmm. and i was just searching for maybe a media company somebody that can handle all of our uh, facebook ads instagram ads and i seen your testimonials with some of your guys that you've uh, been working with um but most importantly for me i had to just take a leap of faith um you're definitely i mean on the other side of the world we're on one side but scared money don't make money that's my yeah. philosophy mm -hmm. and so when we uh you know reached out you reached back immediately that let me know that we're on to something that uh, you're a real person your company is real mm -hmm. um we did the first initial call which was great you yeah. made me feel uh very comfortable and then you mm -hmm. told me what your strategies are you told me exactly yeah. what to expect how uh, what kind of volume but one of the biggest things i found with you was very reasonable pricing Yep. but at the same time you left it up to me as to how much we want um to to do as far as daily on the ads so yeah. it's been it's been great everything you said from the beginning is exactly what you delivered on absolutely bro you know we've been trying our best to do and guys i wanted to cover couple of things here like you know uh, just in case if you guys are doing any kind of marketing just like jc i would recommend if you guys more uh, if you guys need like you know more of a lead or inquiry volume you can definitely up the ad spend you know depending on like you know what kind of uh, volume you want like how busy you would like to get you know so that's the first thing and as per the jc i'm going to tell you couple of things like you know what he did right in order to mm -hmm. succeed in his journey the first thing was he set up his facebook and instagram page amazingly well for that's the first thing and the second thing is like you know he had a good amount of ad spend you know of course i can't disclose it right now but <laughs> yeah he had a good right, amount of ad right. spend uh, but those of you guys who want to like you know uh, get more and more inquiries coming in and if you feel like you know uh, you're not closing good even enough clients maybe you can just increase your budget and you'll get like the double the amount of inquiries you were getting that's the uh, one thing right. i wanted to cover jc bro if you can share your like you know sales process let's say like you know a lead comes in or like enquiry comes in you know in your dms like how exactly right. you're structuring your sales process and like you know how you're taking them from like enquiry to like close if you can share it bro yeah most definitely so when you get a a response immediately to your ad from facebook or instagram uh we know that everybody spends their time on there So I have to spend my time immediately as well on my phone. So as soon as my phone goes off, I got a I got an uh, a notification. As soon as that notification comes in, most people are saying immediately I want to fix my credit. Yeah. We already know what they want. And so mm -hmm. at that point you got to engage and you got to make them feel just so uh so welcomed as far as into your space. You mm -hmm. know, it's new to them, so they're a little scared. They don't know who they're responding to. There's so many scams out there. Mm -hmm. Uh so everybody is is fearful of that. but depending on how you either set up your auto response from your Instagram to your Facebook there's nothing better than you actually getting on there giving a, a real message from a human perspective and yeah. people could tell if you can actually um distinguish between a robot or the yep. bot versus your response and i've had way more success just responding immediately that 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 little ding goes off that i have an alert i actually respond to them what's going on with your credit that's the first step how can i help you what what's affecting it and immediately they respond with what's really going on with your credit they feel they're talking to a person from that point i get some more information from them make them feel comfortable of course uh sh sharing my uh, knowledge as far as what we can do from our end and most of these people have not worked with credit repair before but you do have 25% that maybe have so they have some yeah. knowledge base or maybe a company didn't do well with them so you'll hear mm -hmm. a lot of that Yep. but up to your sales skills of how you can make them feel welcome and what your approach is is going to be key from that point we go ahead and set them up into our our CM and then we schedule a call for them i do have a lot of automations in place now yeah. um so those automated systems make everything that much more quicker easier and keeping in touch with the customer all day through the day if i can i'll do that as well 
yeah yeah absolutely bro and guys uh this is the first way uh you know the, there are like so many ways to you know trying to get them on call and you know scheduling a call but of course bro like you know as you said like the first initial impression of you like you know being handling the message inquiry and having a conversation with them is so so important like you know people miss out on this particular point but they don't even get in touch first thing and even if they do like you know they don't follow up either and stuff like that so that's a good thing that you know yeah. you're doing uh, all those stuff and mm-hmm. figuring out like you know all those specific points like that bro like uh, do you have any particular like follow up uh, sequence that you follow or like you know how exactly are you currently like doing any kind of like follow ups let's say for an example if someone reached out and they didn't respond to you you know like how are you currently like you know reaching out to them or like you know what are you saying like if you can touch base on that particular yeah. part yeah so for for most to be quite honest a lot of the people that we're getting um through the way you advertise i would say a high percentage 70 to 80% are interested and depending on yourself of how you're going to engage with them and get them on board is is the other half but 20% i would say either don't respond after they say they want to repair their credit or something so what i do is maybe the next day um i'll I'll just shoot up are you still interested is there something i can answer for you just a quick little message let them know that i'm still here um that i'd like to help them i'll wait one more day if they don't respond and then i'll just send them a fun fact or something about credit mm-hmm. maybe even a video link yeah. something to show them that i'm still interested in helping them or at least i'm giving them information of how to repair their credit now granted again 10% of those may come back and the other yeah. 10 will never respond again but what i have noticed is those same people that didn't engage with me Mm-hmm. and they just initially said they want to fix their credit but didn't engage fully maybe about 3 days 4 days down the road they'll get the ad again and then they yeah. they respond that they yeah. want to do it and it's yeah. the same thing all over again but at least they're staying in the round yeah. and maybe it's just simply that people are nervous maybe yeah. people are really nervous to take the leap so you'll yeah. deal with 10 15% of that that's all i do man yeah 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 bro like people don't understand we also retarget them <laughs> we target that's yeah. right that's the only yeah. way to do it it's just yeah. like if you were doing door to door sales and yeah. one business says no you got to go back 2 yeah. days later 3 days later you got to yeah. stay in their face yeah so you, you know, know thank god for the pixels we can retarget <laughs> yeah 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 absolutely bro like yeah, with the like you know in facebook events you can actually retarget them back to back in one set, like you know particular campaign and like for all the clients that we are like you know we usually do like retargeting campaigns just so like you know we don't we are not like you know missing out on any of the potential client and stuff like that uh yeah bro so i wanted to ask you let's say for an example if someone scheduled a call with you or are like you know have you are actually having a free credit consultation can you give us some idea like you know how exactly you are like basically walking them through like the sales conversation and how exactly you are trying to convert them you're talking about the initial when they um or when they're on board which part the uh, initial free free consultation like free credit consultation free let's consultation. say yeah. definitely yep yeah so the initial con- uh, consultation once we're going to set up that data we're going to speak with them we go ahead and just say this is the process of credit mm-hmm. um once we have everything in the cm that mm-hmm. credit audit that we send them yep i'm going to go ahead and tell them during the call i'd like for you to take a look at your email once they set up through my portal they open up that email they're going to see a full detail audit of the credit that right there initially already sells itself that we are a company this is what's wrong with your credit versus uh-huh. having good credit so that alone already sparks their true interest that this is legit and going to help them fix your credit the second part is we start now um, once they pull their credit reports we just go over it together and then they start telling me exactly what it is they're looking to do these particular accounts we go through them uh, from that point they feel so comfortable knowing that we're looking at data together they want to know how we're going to resolve that they want to know how long it's going to take most people don't realize when they're going through credit repair that it took them years to really mess up their credit yeah. some of them want it fixed overnight mm-hmm. but when you're honest with them and telling them this is the process it's not 24 hours it's not a week it's not a month mm-hmm. they start to understand okay this person's being completely honest this company's going to do everything they can and yeah. it's going to be a process it's a journey so once i explain the journey process to them um what exactly needs to be done on their end mm-hmm. the information they'll receive from bureaus any letters the mm-hmm. connection that we got to have once a week maybe do a video with them um that process alone keeps them in the loop 
and that keeps them motivated and happy to continue working with you. So as far as verbiage wise, it's, mm -hmm. it's all detailed based on their credit. It has yep. nothing to do with me selling. Um, the audit sells itself. What yep. we do sells itself. At the end of the day, you're not selling a product, you're selling a service. People yeah. don't want to buy a product right now. That's not a product. You're yeah. actually helping them fix their life. Mm. And when you come from that aspect of it, they're all in. Their hopes is that they'll have their life back. Yep. And so that's what I convey through my entire sales call, yeah. which I call the consultation, has nothing yep. to do with sales, has everything to do with what the reality is. Absolutely, bro. Yeah, that's, that's uh, I Yeah, so I had like another question uh, for this on follow-up. Uh, I wanted to know your perspective on like, you know, how exactly you're doing this. So how would you pre-qualify someone, you know, if they could afford your services? Uh, does that make sense in terms of question? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what is so it? Real, realistically, when you're saying uh, if they can afford it, are you talking about their budget, their uh, finances? Yeah. So like, how would you like, you know, pre-qualify someone? Uh so just to get some idea, like, you know, if they could afford your services or do you think that would be a, like, you know, only an excuse for someone who want to fix their credit? Or do you think? So, so I think that with, with the way the, depending on your model as a company, mm -hmm. whoever's listening, yep. how you have yourself structured, if you're charging a thousand dollars for uh, six months of credit for that, that business model, you I mean, if it works for them, it works for them. For another company that maybe charges per deletion, that works for them. That's also yeah. a great model. But when you're doing a monthly based service mm -hmm. and it's mm -hmm. actually uh, right, right at the cusp where everybody can afford Netflix, they can afford um, any kind of apps and services they're paying for, they can mm -hmm. definitely um, pay for your credit repair service, depending on your monthly margin of whatever mm -hmm. it is you're charging, depending on that service you're providing, they know they can afford it. Everyone yep. can afford credit repair when it's on a monthly basis and you're actually going in um, and doing the service that you said you'll provide. Everybody can afford a hundred bucks a month. I mean, yeah. when realistically people are out there spending a hundred dollars on a dinner right now, yeah. someone can repair their credit for, let's say a hundred bucks a month, if that's what you're charging, yeah. uh, to fix their life, to save thousands. You got to remember, they're only going to pay a monthly service to save mm -hmm. thousands of dollars of yeah. interest, thousands of dollars of, of, of back pay of collections or whatnot. Yeah. I mean, you really got to understand and, and let them understand yeah. this small service you're paying for. So majority of people can qualify. It's just how are you providing that service through the initial call? Yep. So yep. I don't run into a lot of that myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, bro. And guys, I also wanted to add something here. You know, the reason why Jesse got so successful in the marketing I would say is because he was so open-minded, like, you know, when it comes to content, like he already believed that, you know, like your first impression is the last impression. So re just remember guys, you know, there are two ways we can actually market it out there. It's right. either flyer or it's a video format. So like, as soon as we like, you know, uh, got like GC onboarded, I think I sent you like a couple of videos, bro, the proven videos, you know, and he like, you know, recorded like his own version of it. You know, he sent it over to us. We like, you know, had like a couple of tests, like a uh, different, different tests, uh, you know, going on here and there. And, you know, eventually like we, we just figured out like, you know, which particular video is actually working well. And uh, yeah, you know, I also wanted to add that to it, bro. So, yeah. Yeah. When you sent that, that made it that much easier to see what's working for you guys, yeah. what's out there that you're putting out. But we all should know one thing, depending on whoever's listening again, yeah. marketing is marketing. There's nothing like the human voice. There's nothing like the human touch. Yeah. Um, so when you're putting that together, an ad will work if it's just, you know, words and a picture, but there's nothing like someone listening to you of why you want to help them. Yep. So when you do a video, you want to make sure you're conveying the truth, the message as to why you're yeah. there to service them and yeah. maybe something they're going through. So that video caption you sent me, I was able to just articulate what I already do, put it yeah. on video and you guys did, you guys did the rest, man. That's amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah bro. Yeah. So like, you know, just to make like process easier for our clients, what you're also trying to do is you are also trying to send them the tutorial on how to basically, you know, create that kind of videos. You know, so it literally takes like five to 10 minutes, but yeah, you know, like there are either two ways could be flyers or could be videos like, you know, sure. sometimes Correct. like, you know, flyer tends to work better. Sometimes video tends to work better, 
but yeah. i just wanted to add that here to make sure that you know it's good bro quick question like you know when it comes to your own let's say organic marketing or anything else uh how many times are you currently posting on your like instagram page like is it two times three times a week i i'm going to be quite honest when it comes to instagram i'm not really posting as i should be yeah. what i'm focusing on is getting a lot of our clients in person Yep. I have tremendous success when I go to dealerships, I go to real mm -hmm. estate companies, I'm out at the store, I mm -hmm. run into people just about anywhere yeah. along with your marketing and I get a lot of affiliates. So affiliates send me all of their um, yeah. their referrals and, and that's really mm -hmm. my, my, biggest, my biggest portion of it. But when it comes to posting, I definitely know I'm doing a no-no right now by not posting yeah. and, and getting that out there. So this month, we're going to start uh, focusing more on yeah. putting some more content out on, of yeah. course, YouTube, but definitely Instagram. So I've been, I've been really low in that department. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is, this is what I've learned. Like, you know, so far, bro, like, you know, by working with all of the clients that we have, like, if you're going to stay, like, you know, just focus on just one particular, like, you know, uh, inbound, like, you know, uh, clients or inquiries or referral, you know, it's, it's not going to work. So what you just said, bro, like, you know, it's so amazing that you need to have like different, different, I would say maybe two or three different variations to get like inbound inquiries or like, you know, clients coming in could be like, you know, affiliate partnership, just like JC is doing. Second one could be the marketing. Uh, third thing could be like, you know, organic branding or anything like that. So just don't rely on one particular thing, guys, you know, try to work on at least two or three things could be marketing, like, you know, ads, because that is the only way, you know, you will get like automated, like, uh, you know, automated uh, inbound inquiries coming in first thing. The second thing is uh, affiliates, like, you know, you can try to hustle it out there and try to find like some uh, affiliate partners. And the third thing would mm -hmm. be like, you know, organic one. Bro, uh, can you elaborate more on like, you know, what exactly, maybe if you want, you know, uh, that's totally upon you, of course. Uh, what you would be doing, like, you know, if someone is just starting out maybe, or they are into like two, three months from now, like, you know, they're like into the business, they're still trying yeah. to get new clients. Uh, beside, let's say Facebook ads, Instagram ads, or the third thing could be the organic marketing. Beside that, how would they approach when it comes to like, you know, affiliate partnerships or anything like that? First thing I would say is definitely know why you're in this space. Yeah. If you're in it for the money, you're not going to convey this message to your affiliates. You're not yep. going to convey the true message to the mm -hmm. clients that you need out there. If you're only in this business to make money, the people are going to smell it. People are going to see it. But when you come from the perspective of really helping people that you're really trying to change your life, or maybe yeah. you know what it's like to have bad credit. When you speak to a dealership or you speak to a mortgage loan officer, a real estate agent, uh, family, friends, they're going to hear the passion, number one, that's in your voice. Why do you want to help people? Why do you want to break the chains of debt? Why you're trying to repair their credit? Why you want them to actually succeed? When they hear that come out of you, you now uh, give the emotion. The second is you've got to have some knowledge in this space. You've got to read up on it. You've got to learn where the, maybe the CFPB is going, where the government's going with credit repair. Uh, once you learn all that, then you get down to the, the, the exact what the banks are doing with credit cards, with loans, have some detailed information and in how credit impacts people. Mm -hmm. When you put those two together, it's going to be a no brainer for you to get an affiliate. When you speak to a car salesman, mm -hmm. he will send you all his credit re or all his clients, you do credit repair, send them right back to him. Mm -hmm. Same thing with your real estate. Same thing. If you go to a church, you can go to a church and help people there. The thing is, you have to understand why you're in the credit repair space, learn the credit repair space. And yeah. all you got to do is when you go to the grocery store, you go to a, a store anywhere that you're shopping, you can meet somebody there and just hand them a card and just yeah. talk to them about credit repair. But you got to know what you're talking about. I mean, you don't have to know everything, just have to have passion and understand why you're in this. And you, you can get any affiliate out there to send yeah. you people. Family members can be your affiliate and send you people. So one of the biggest things, again, sharpen up your skills, know the credit repair space, but know why you're in it and have the true passion from your heart yeah. and everybody will come. Yeah, That's bro. the only thing I could say for a new person. Absolutely, bro. Like, you know, that's the only way to succeed. Like, you know, having some kind of passion when it comes to like any particular business that you want to own. Guys, plant the seeds right now. Like, you know, so in that way you can eat your fruits later. You know, try to that's like... Correct.
That's you correct. Know, <laughs> try to have like as many sources as you can. You know, of course, like you need to focus on marketing as well, but still like, you know, have like any other like different additional sources that you can, like uh, as GC said, and you know, in that way you should be good. Yeah, bro. So uh, I had the last question and after that, we're going to do a quick role play on like, you know, how would you handle like a live sales call maybe? Uh, so sure. my yeah last question, bro, is... Uh, what would you say to someone who is actually on the fence to work with us? Sorry about that. Phone was yeah. ringing, guys. Hey, yeah, no problem, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. So my last question is like, what would you say to someone uh, who is actually on the fence to actually work with us? All right. Let me open the screen back up. That that call yeah. just got everything messed up there. Yeah. All right. What I would say to somebody that's on the fence to work with you, mm -hmm. uh, I, I started this conversation with you that scared money yeah. don't make money. Yeah. I'm not saying that you should just try anything, that you should just throw your money out there and mm -hmm. take big risks. You have to take calculated risks. That's number one. But one of the biggest things that you have to understand that if you don't know marketing, if you don't understand what goes on behind the scenes, you have to hire somebody. You have no choice but to hire and you got to take a leap of faith. And don't be afraid to ask a company that you're looking to hire questions. But you can tell, your intuition will tell you if that person who wants to market for you knows what they're doing, yeah. knows what they're talking about, has, mm -hmm. has proof of their work and can show you testimonies, which that's what you did. Yeah. And so I, had to, I didn't have to look anywhere. I didn't have to go interview 10 companies. The moment you started talking to me, and, and you reached back instantly and you showed me your proof. I knew that you were the one that I needed to work with. And yeah. I just don't spend my money like I spend it in crypto with just any company out there. Uh, the crypto, you're taking, you're taking a, a, a risk. That's a, that's a huge volatile risk. Yeah. But when it comes to your business and you need to implement and deploy some funds mm -hmm. for marketing, it is important to who you hire. But again, when you speak to someone who's pitching what they do in their services, just listen and ask them questions. The funny thing is you answered all my questions before I even asked you. Yeah. You already knew what you were doing. So anybody that's on the fence to hire you, all I would say is, hey, you're going to make with, I'd say, two clients. You're going to make your initial investment back, realistically. Yeah. I mean, depending on your charging model, how much you charge yeah. uh, for your services. But when it comes to hiring Harshal and his team, you're, you're going to make your investment back. And yeah. that's what it's about. It's about your return on investment, the ROI, yeah. and then try to deploy some more um, daily budget for Facebook. But let me tell you, he's very reasonable. His team is responsive. They're on yeah. um, the WhatsApp constantly, just <laughs> sending even a message to say, hi, um, yeah. you're engaged with me every day of the week. If I need you, I know yeah. I can call you. I know there's a time difference. Yeah. You're in, uh, what, where were you at? Yeah, I, I live in Mumbai, bro. You're in yeah. Mumbai and yeah. I'm in the United States. Yeah. It's night over there where you're at, where we're doing yeah. this. So the fact that you're talking to me right now or even on a message instantly, that lets me know that you're the real deal. And so anybody that's on the fence, man, you got to take a risk. But yeah. this is a very good calculated risk. So I yeah. encourage anyone to do business with you. Anybody. Yeah. yeah. Let, let me add this. Yeah. I'm even uh, wanting to hire you for ser your services in other spaces besides mm -hmm. the credit repair. So I just want to throw that out there that I'm looking to even have that conversation with you. I'm very impressed with, with your delivery. Uh, the amount of clients that I'm getting yep. daily has increased. And, yep. and you told me from the beginning that the more we let this ad run out there, yeah. that it was going to start circulating and yep. the AI would start, you know, optimize doing this thing. Yeah, that's right. And <laughs> so it's done exactly that. Everything he's told me. Uh, that was going to be delivered has has been delivered so i'm, I'm yeah. very impressed with you man absolutely bro like you know we still have long way to go you know we are still like sure uh, you know at the beginning stage maybe but still like you know we, we need to like spend a lot of money like of course like you know we need to get to that uh, next level so we're gonna spend like a lot of money on the ad spend and we're gonna get there bro. Yeah. guys i'll be honest let me you. ask you a question yeah yeah, yeah go let ahead, me bro. ask you a quick question yeah. on that subject of anybody that's on the fence how long has have you been doing this as uh, Five years, bro. Five to six years. And how 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 long have you had your team and your company doing this? Uh, four years. Yeah. So all I'm gonna say is the five years that you've been doing, you 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 know what you're doing. 
Yeah. You're approaching your eighth year soon. So after eight years, any company or anybody that's in an individual uh, yeah. space, they skyrocket. By the 10th year, they're they're on stone that they are a factual yeah. company. You're already on your way. So yeah. I just want to let anybody out there know that you've been doing this five years. It seems like you've been doing it 10 years. So thank you for sharing that because I needed to know myself how long you've been <laughs> Absolutely, doing Absolutely, bro. Absolutely. <laughs> Guys, I, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Like, you know, I never shared this with anyone mostly. We are like this thin when it comes to margin. Like, you know, the reason why we mostly do this is because, like, you know, we live in a different country where, like, you know, our co cost of living ex expense is so low. And we know, mm -hmm. like, you know, how much our like, competitors and everyone charges. Like, they literally charge like, twice or thrice the money that we actually charge. You know, that's the first thing. And, okay, okay. of course, like, you know, uh, there is nothing like, you know, something is, uh, you know, cheap or, like, you know, something is not valuable or anything. Just wanted to throw this in, guys. The reason why we do this is because I know, like, you know, what kind of pain, like, any certain, like, credit repair owner actually goes through, you know, because they are already, like, you yeah. know, they have, like, uh, low charging that they are charging, actually, mostly. And the service cost sometimes is very low. So, in that way, it's very hard for them to actually afford any kind of marketing uh, services like that. So, we sure. just don't want to, like, you know, cost, like, arms and legs to someone who actually wants to get into marketing and yeah, I just want to throw it out there. <laughs> yeah. That, and, and speaking of pricing, honestly, you're very, very reasonable. Yeah. We know that there's a lot of companies out there. I'm sure they could do very well and help us out and, and help any industry out, but they're what they charge is yeah. almost six figures per year yeah. for the same work that you're doing. Yeah. And what you're charging, I'm very surprised. Yeah, bro. I'm very surprised because the, what you charge for your service allows us to add more daily yeah. uh, budget to our spend. And and I want to thank you personally. That's that. that's that's what I wanted to extend on, bro. Like, you know, the reason why we also charge that is because I want you to spend right. more money on ads. You don't yeah. need to spend more on us. You need to spend on ads. You know, just, just rem remember that. But of course, like, you know, we have like different, different packages. But still, like, you know, the one that we have is like very affordable for our clients. And you can actually, you know, blow things up. Like, uh, literally get to, like, you know, 10 grand a month with the uh, one specific, Easily. like, you know, the amount that you're going to pay. Of course, like, I'm not going to discuss our pricing. It's actually only disclosed on the call itself. <laughs> but still, guys, you know, uh, you would make at least, uh, if you even close, like, one or two deals, you know, you will make your money back for sure. That's what I Easily. wanted to add. Yeah, bro. Yeah. I, I, I want to say something, Marshall. I'm yeah, saying yeah. it right now in this video. Yeah. Yeah. I know that in the next six months, yeah. I'll be surprised within the next six months, I won't be surprised that you will be one of the staples of this industry. Mm -hmm. And you're just going to be flooded with a bunch of companies uh, in this space using you as the standard. Mm -hmm. Because again, you make it so easy. It's very affordable. The yeah. quality of work that you guys do, your response, I actually see you blowing up so big out here mm -hmm. um, in this industry. So I just wanted to, to say that here for the record. That within six months you will be the standard, and next year is going to be huge for you. Thank Guaranteed, you, bro. Yeah, let's get it, bro. We, we've been already serving mm -hmm. more than one hundred and fifty clients now, so let's get it way bigger than that. <laughs> yeah. You'll be you'll be at a thousand very soon, guaranteed. Yeah, guaranteed. Hope so. Let's get it. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, bro. Before I let you go, I uh, if possible, like you know, maybe we can do a quick role play of like one or two minutes. Uh, so basically, I'm gonna act as a customer, like you know, this is what we do for all the clients that we have. Is we actually do a live mm -hmm. role play, so in that way, people have yeah. some kind of ideas. So I'm gonna be a customer. Let's say for an example, I saw your ad, I reached out to you directly, I left my name, phone number, email, and then you actually call me. You know, and we are having a free consultation. So can we do that? A quick role play. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so you just left me your your ad uh, as far yeah. as you responded to my to my ad. You left me your yeah. email, you left me your name and your number. Yeah, because of the automated bot. The immediate co conversation I'm going to start with you is, "Hello, how you doing, Harshal? What's yeah. affecting your credit at this moment?" Yeah, bro. So sorry. I mean, yeah, JC. Uh, so I right now I have like one bankruptcy that's uh, seven years old, and. Uh, couple of collections here and there i'm at uh low 500 i want to get it at like seven, at least like 700 yes definitely and those collections and charge-offs that you have how long have they been affecting you what when what what's the eldest the oldest one you have uh three years three years okay and uh depending on your state 
I definitely want to go through the guidelines of their state. So I'll be able to tell what state you're on because of the ads. Yeah. So once uh, I check what state you're in, I'm going to tell you that the collections mm -hmm. or the charge offs have a certain statute of limitation. So let's say in your state, it's four years. Well, I'll tell you that in, in, in the fourth year coming up, it's no longer deemed collectible yeah. by the collection agency. Mm. And so what we'll do is try to challenge that on your behalf to be able mm -hmm. to get it removed and disputed through the bureaus. Mm -hmm. So the bankruptcy, however, that can take a process to remove. It's been discharged already. So what I got to do is get the information from the courthouses. Once they send me information that they never place that on your credit report, because you got to remember, sir, that uh, bankruptcies don't belong in your credit report. Yep. The three bureaus buy that information from PACER and they place it onto your credit report for the benefit that the banks pay them because you pay higher interest. Now, yeah. what we have to do is challenge the bureaus with the information I get from the courthouse mm -hmm. to be able to show proof that they never provided this information to them. Yep. Once, once the three bureaus respond to that, depending on what they deem, they're going to have to remove that. Yeah. That's one of the cases when it comes to, to bankruptcies. But as far as your charge offs and collections, what we should do is set up a natural consultation at no charge. Mm -hmm. I want to take a look at what's going on with those collections, and those charge offs, the amounts and the dates. Yeah. When, when's a good time? When's a good time to set up a free consultation, no charge and a free credit on it. Yeah. I'll, I'll get off work uh, at 5 30 PM today. So yeah okay here's what i'm gonna do that's a good hour what i'm gonna do is send you a link right now it's a mm -hmm. short submission form you mm -hmm. go ahead and fill that out send it right back and then what we'll do is go ahead and set up your appointment and your mm -hmm. consultation tonight sounds great yeah that's pretty much it depending on what they tell me yeah, yeah if yeah. i feel like i can go ahead and just let lead them all the way through then i will if yeah. it's a, a, depending on the type of person, you got to check their demographics immediately yeah. uh, when you get that type of lead. If it's an elderly person, I'll take longer with explaining mm. a little more. You got to walk with them. Mm. So it just really depends, of course, what the engagement's like from the yeah. other end. Absolutely, bro. You know, there are like different, different sales process. Guys, this is uh, our guy. This is, uh, you know, whole sales process and what exactly he's doing. Yeah, bro. I really appreciate your time. You know, thank you for being on our interview. Of course. If you would like to share something else or else we're good. No, I definitely just want to encourage whoever is looking yep. to sign up with you and your team or at least try to, to, to try you out. Yeah. To try you out even for 30 days. Yep. The amount of response that you'll get in 30 days. And even if you're good, let me tell you, if you're good on your end, um, and have your stuff set up, you should see a return immediately. And this would probably be the best uh, spend that you'll do for your company. Mm -hmm. It's very reasonable. Um, Harshal is not paying me to say this. This is on my own account. I'm telling you guys right now, mm -hmm. if you do not try him and his team, man, I don't know where you're going to go. And you mm -hmm. could try to do it by yourself, but you should be focused on your business. You're not an advertising company right now. So yeah. what I would do is hire out Harshal, his team, test them out and just see what you think. I know I'm happy. Yeah. I know I'm taking my business to the next level. And uh, man, I'm, I'm just glad that you came uh, in my sphere. And I want to thank you personally uh, yeah. for the commitment. I want to thank you for the, the, the constant contact with me. And I want to, if you could tell your team for me, thank you very much for all their hard work and everything yes, you're doing as well for us. Yeah, bro. I really appreciate you as being our client, you know, and not just like as a client, you know, we have like brotherly relationship as well, of course. That's right. That's <laughs> right. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I feel connected with you again. You Absolutely. make me feel very comfortable. Um, yeah. Whenever you built a relationship for this long, mm -hmm. I mean, it's been five months, six months. I can't wait to yeah. take a flight out to come visit you, man. Yeah, bro. <laughs> if you, if just in, in case you don't come here, like, and I'm going to come over there. Don't worry, bro. <laughs> yes, you'll be here. You'll be here, man. And, and, and as soon as you touch down, uh, you can come over, man. I'll Absolutely. give you all the hospitality. Yeah, I got you, bro. Man. I can't wait. Absolutely, bro. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you, my bro. I really appreciate your time. You're welcome. And uh, guys, yeah. So I hope you guys have done something. Just in case, if you have, you know, leave a like. Uh, comment down on this video as well as please subscribe to our channel we're gonna post more of this interviews uh maybe five six months from now i'm also again like you know going to interview my guy again because this was an amazing interview yeah you know 
and we can just yes. touch base on more couple of things so yeah guys go yeah. ahead and comment something you know uh, just comment like gc <laughs> gc the legend yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that. If anybody wants to reach out to me to ask about you or the process or if they need help just coaching them for their yeah. business, they can reach out to my yep. my my Instagram is uh GC the coach or GC at GC Credit Coaches. Yeah. Either one of those two, man, you guys feel free to hit me up. Yep. Uh, you know, I'll obviously Absolutely. share whatever I got, my knowledge. Yeah. They can feel free to do that. Absolutely, guys. You know, uh just in case if you guys want to help, you know, please reach out to my guy. And uh, yeah, guys. Thank you for watching until this you know uh, I'll see you soon guys soon thank you all right yeah peace